What about when you were like Miami and Kobe was in LA? Did you look at him? Yeah. I know it's different we, positions. We, we looked, but it's like different position. It was like, a, you know, for me, it was, a, I'm gonna get one before you get one. Because we had the same arguments. Oh, you, you, you can win, but you can't win without Shaq. You can win, but you can't win without Kobe. So right. the fact that he has two and I have one, I fucking went crazy in my house. Because again, like, I'm, I'm, you know, similar to you and your brother, it's a respectful competition thing. I admit, my last three years, I was championship chance, because if I can get five, he got five, it, right. it's, but the fact that he got five and I got four drives me crazy. <laughs> Before we get into this video, make sure you guys smash that like button. We want to get this story out to the entire community. Whether you agree or disagree, we want everybody to debate. So if you guys enjoy the video as well, make sure you subscribe to the Mitchell Report channel. Thank you all for the support. Let's get into today's story. It's crazy to me because I was just talking to one of my colleagues. We were speaking on, you know, Shaquille O'Neal. This blew me away. Cause I didn't think that Shaquille O'Neal felt like he was chasing Kobe Brown or had the need to. You know, Shaquille O'Neal didn't have the numbers that Kobe Brown had, but I felt like winning that championship in 06 with the Miami Heat really solidified the legacy of Shaquille O'Neal. He really didn't have to, you know, prove anything to anybody. But, you know, he kind of made it known that, you know, he was chasing Kobe at the end of his career. We remember Shaq playing for Boston and, and Cleveland, the Phoenix Suns, just to name a few teams. I think they were three of the squads that he tried to, you know, realistically win a championship with. But he admitted it. And I got to respect Shaq, you know, for keeping it real when he talked about chasing that, that five, you know, after Kobe Bryant and how sick it made him once Kobe had repeated, I think, back in 2010. Now, these guys clearly, you know, haven't always got along. Y'all already know the history of, you know, Kobe Bryant and, and, and Shaquille O'Neal. When do you believe the friction with you and Kobe actually developed? I don't know. And I don't care. You don't have to like me. But most of the people that you ask about me, they really like me. So if you don't like me, there must be something wrong with you. Shaquille O'Neal has responded in the press with some statements regarding you. Do you have anything that you want to add or say in regard to his comments? Um, not really. I mean, I just wish him all the best. When do but, you know, they were able to mend things together and get close before Kobe had passed away. And I think that was definitely the feel-good story and, you know, the best results when we talk about the journey of Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe. You know, those guys are brothers and they was able to, you know, get it back. But, man, again, this blew my mind. I was really shocked to hear Shaquille O'Neal come out and say that, you know, he was chasing that five from Kobe. You know, I, I just always felt like, man, Shaq is in a league of his own. He's in a class by himself, and he doesn't need anything else to, you know, solidify a spot. Wherever you have Shaquille O'Neal ranked all time, I, don't, I wasn't never really anticipating or had the expectation that a fifth ring would move that needle anywhere. I, I felt like his spot is, you know, Eston Stone, just like Kobe Bryant. But he kept it real. He, he kept it G. And I got to respect that. But but what do y'all think about that, man, here in this Mitchell report? Shaquille O'Neal admitting that he was chasing Kobe Bryant for, you know, that five, that, that, that fifth championship. When you look at the teams that, you know, Shaquille O'Neal tried to hop on a, on a bandwagon with, you know, I'm thinking as far as players and stuff like that. He Boston, he had a chance because he was still with KG and them guys that won the title. You know, trying to get it done with LeBron, I just don't think that he even got the type of opportunity that it would take for them to have that impact in Cleveland. The Phoenix just, to me, just was just like, didn't make sense at all. So, realistically, he never really had a chance at going for five, trying to match Kobe Bryant with the teams that he played for, you know, when you look at it at the end of the day. So, I, I just, again, this kind of was surprising to me that Shaquille O'Neal was chasing Kobe. I thought that he got that one in, in Miami. 
It was a done deal. Because remember, when he went to the Miami Heat in 2005, he took them to the Eastern Conference Finals. You know, they got it They got it done over the hump thanks to Dwayne Wade the, the, the following year. And I'm just like, man, Shaq, is a, it's a wrap. You know, Shaquille O'Neal is solidified. Etched in stone. We already know what the vibes is like. But, you know, he kept it tall. He was chasing Kobe for that fifth title. If he would have got five. This is going to be crazy. I, I got to talk to the bosses. You might got to talk to the bosses. But if Shaquille O'Neal would have gotten five rings, boys and girls, would y'all put him over Kobe? Do y'all put Shaq over Kobe now? Not as the greatest Laker, greatest player of all time. You know, NBA ranking. Where do you rank Shaq? Where do you rank Kobe all time? Who's better? And if you got Shaq under Kobe, if Shaq would have won one more, if he would have matched Kobe, would it made any difference? And with that fifth ring, would Shaquille O'Neal had to have impact? Could Shaquille O'Neal get a, a, a pass by just being a part of a team that won the championship? Or did, would he had to be a factor in order for that fifth ring to count? It's up to y'all to decide, man. I'm Seven Mitchell. This is the Mitchell Report. Like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Shaquille O'Neal chasing Kobe Bean Bryant for that fifth ring. And it's nothing but love. It's nothing but competition. This is what legacies and, and, and this is a champions are made of. So, again, I can't knock it. I got to respect and salute Shaquille O'Neal for keeping it real. It just blew my mind. I'm Seven Mitchell. This is the Mitchell Report, man. I'm signing off. Y'all stay safe and all that until the next video. Peace. Be sure to smash that like button and if you enjoy the Mitchell Report series, leave a little quick tip or donation at the Super Thanks. Most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.